Welcome to the Morning Touch. I'm Darwin Campbell. Be bringing your inspirational message today. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the FSPC in Glendale, Sawara Ranch, for your inspiration and for your motivation. As we start today, I want us to focus on Psalms chapter 15. If you like what we say, please subscribe to the channel. We certainly would appreciate your encouragement by subscribing to the channel. I'm going to focus on Psalms chapter 15. First today, it's a description of the godly written by David. Uh, and it shares the expectation of the type of character that God is looking for in us. It says, Lord, who can dwell in your tent? Who can live on your holy mountain? The one who lives honestly and practices righteousness, acknowledges the truth in his heart, who does not slander with his tongue and does not harm his friend or discredit his neighbor, who despises the one rejected by the Lord, but honors those who fear the Lord and keeps his word, whatever the cost, who does not lend his money at interest or take a bribe against the innocent. The one who does these things shall never be moved. What we have here is a holy reminder, a holy reminder of the type of character that God looks for in us. As we strive to live and walk on this earth, we are giving a short description and a short reminder of the type of spirit that we should have as we live and walk amongst the humans on this planet. God looks for the honest, the one who practices righteousness, the one who respects the truth, one who does not slander his neighbor or harm his neighbor and friends, one who honors and fears the Lord, and first and foremost, keeps his word at all costs. You know, those people are welcome, God says. The people who can dwell in his tent and live on his mountain have the character of righteousness, have a heart for God, have a purpose for God. And they certainly believe in doing it God's way. I say that to say this, that God does not accept credit cards. He doesn't accept credit cards for our behavior. He doesn't accept excuses for our actions. And while today we see in our society many people doing many things that are against the principles of God's word, God will not accept credit cards for that behavior. There will be no excuses for those actions. Man must learn what God wants and he must repent of his sins and change his direction. That is, if you are interested in living on God's holy mountain. Psalms 15 makes it clear that there is no credit cards accepted for evil and selfish behavior. Those who are out there destroying history, attacking the police, destroying property that does not belong to them, God does not accept credit cards. God does not accept credit cards for lawlessness in our streets those who take the law into their own hands who write the law as they go who do only what is right in their own mind and in their own heart god does not accept credit cards for lawlessness god does not accept credit cards for deadly actions we've seen over the past two weeks a number of young children Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me, for such are the kingdom of God. Yet we have those who have taken the lives of innocent children on our streets, in our cities, with no remorse. God does not accept credit cards for deadly actions against children and citizens in our community and living in our neighborhoods. He does not accept credit cards for people out of control. God has sent us a reminder in Psalms 15 of how he wants us to live and act and behave and prepare ourselves to be with him. But there are those who've decided to live reckless and lawless and ungodly. There are those who've decided to feed corrupt hearts and to lead mankind down a road that leads to destruction and evil and chaos. God has a word for you. You out there who are lawless and corrupt. You out there who are leading people down 
the paths of unrighteousness and sin. God has a word for you. And that word can be found in Revelation 21 and verse 8. That word is a strong word. It's not a word that comes from a pastor's mouth. It's not a word that's thought of from a group of people. This is the Lord himself saying that I will judge you. And in Revelation 21, 8, the Bible says, but the cowards, unbelievers, the vile, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, all liars, shall have their place in the lake that burns with fire, which is the second death. Not only that, you need to understand that there's a great payday coming. And that great payday comes when the Lord himself comes from the sky, riding with his holy angels, and he brings judgment upon man. Listen to this. Revelation 22, in verse 15. Lord, he says, I am coming quickly. My reward is with me to repay each person according to what he has done. The Lord is bringing a giant ledger. And with that giant ledger, he will write checks for the lawless. He will write checks for the ungodly. He will write checks for the corrupt to repay them for the evils that they have done. And we're not talking about money. What are you talking about, brother? Look further in Revelations 22 and verse 15. He said, outside are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices lying. There's a great day coming when those who are lawless, those who divide, those who hate, those who practice evil, those that are unrighteous, there's a great day coming when you will be separated from the righteous. You will be separated from the presence of God. You will not be allowed to enter into the holy city. You will be barred from the mountain. You will not be able to enter the Lord's tent. You know, that's something to think about. Because none of us will live forever. I don't care how you fight for justice and how you fight for 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 equality and how you fight for whatever you're fighting for. Someday you're going to die. And someday you're going to face God in judgment. And someday you will be separated to the right or to the left. There's a great day coming and the Lord says, I am coming and I will repay each for the what they have done. I encourage you today to repent of your sins. Turn from your lawlessness. Turn from your evil. Turn from your unrighteousness. I encourage you today, clean up your heart. Read Psalms 15. Clean up your heart. Change your direction and your desires, your evil desires. God has made a way through Jesus Christ and his death on the cross for you to be saved. You don't have to go the broad way. You don't have to follow the majority into the gates of hell. You have the right to make a decision about where you want to spend eternity. Because none of us are going to live forever. All of what you see will someday be no more. What are you fighting for in reality? God has described the kind of character and nature that he wants. In Psalms 15. Godliness. Goodness. Love. Is what God is looking for. And he's looking for the honest heart. To follow his word. No matter what the cost. Are you one of those today. That's willing to walk away from unrighteousness. Walk away from chaos. Walk away from sin. Walk away from corruption. Walk away from evil and put on the true and righteous road that can lead you to heaven. You know, the Morning Touch is brought to you by the FSBC in Glendale. And we're here to encourage you and motivate you. We want you to know God is looking for the honest, righteous heart to follow him. Because in that last day, he won't be accepting credit card excuses. He won't be accepting credit card reasons. He won't be accepting credit cards at all. 